Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to Paranormal Activity Overview. This one kinda slipped from my hands last week. When I wrapped up everything I noticed on the store that it appeared but it was so late at night and then I had to go to Berlin right away. I basically had to postpone till today so it was like a ninja ninja release. <laughs> Paranormal Activity is an adventure horror game that puts you in arms with just shitty flashlight and you go around the neighborhood discovering some fun and normal things happening like sacrificing the birds, randomly empty mansion in the middle of the woods, a casual sand the evening stroll. Classically with every horror game that I've tried, the gameplay won't be very long and I got stuck pretty quickly with not knowing what to do at all. I must say the game uses like an ancient control scheme that you can go forward and backwards but for some reason the movement on joystick sideways is blocked so it doesn't necessarily feel natural knowing nowadays movement to just use two directional buttons with just a snap door as an option for a horror game that may or may not have fast paced action later on. The game has some atmosphere to it like the sound design is very much present that every small movement, whether it's close or in the distance, is taken care of and the game makes sure that you hear it. The graphics could be a little bit better, we're in quest today so there's really no excuse to not up the graphics, at least in terms of textures because I don't need dynamic shadows or something, just anything that doesn't remind you of 2000s consoles. I don't know, can't really judge it fully, the technical aspects of it are below average to me so I'm not very much crazy about this release. But let's see how I get scared by literally nothing going on. Press up on the thumb stick on your left control to walk forward. Wait, I can't turn, I just can go forward and backwards. And there's a snap turn, okay. It's kinda weird, it's this old school movement that followed the head, but like the side joystick doesn't even work, so definitely not the standard controls, that's for sure. Cycle through your inventory, press index trigger. Oh, that's weird, okay. The battery... You can then put the battery in the bottom of the flashlight. Press the X or A action. Here we go, yet another horror game. Ah. Press the size in and up on your left controller to sprint forward. Okay. Yay, tutorial. Oh, here we go, the options. How do I... Why? I just pressed the... Okay. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's just only this control system, which is a bit unusual. It's not completely trash. It's just something that I'm not used to. So I guess we go. Uh, difficulty? Baby, I would like. <laughs> you know... What do we say? Five minutes? <laughs> oh my fucking god, really? Flashlight? Or do we just end? Okay, so... I just closed my eyes. You fucking... Wait, this is not like slender or whatever, huh? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> yeah, this is the level of pussy I'm on. <laughs> oh, it was even me. Yeah, that's nice. I need to enter the house. Okay, well, nothing will be here, it's just that... Dude. That's so weird, the controls. I can't, like, turn and just normally go... Oh my god, just run. This is so slow. Okay, do. What the? Oh my god, are we on PS1 or something? Can I touch you? Oh. Just go. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, I swung by to return the key. It's in the usual hiding spot. Let me know when you're ready to get back on the market. Are we selling drugs? What's happening? Do I really have to... Oh my, really? I, I don't know. Maybe the backyard or something. Even though it has like a little bit shitty graphics, not gonna lie. Even for Quest 2, it has its atmosphere. <laughs> God damn, I move slow. Like, I don't know, do I just pull? 
now. Oh my god, the snap turn is going insane. This is gonna take a while because the controls, it's not the standard one, but like just even the snap turn is like with a delay and sometimes it's not even connecting. It's like I'm just struggling with the controls rather than being immersed in the game. Lost soul. Yeah, I'm lost. <laughs> Oh nice! It's the bird that uh, we've seen. Fantastic. Where the fuck am I? There's like a second house, but I don't think we're gonna cross it. Not at least from this point. Fantastic, and we don't have a battery. I guess my gameplay ends soon. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> it is with horror games that I don't even play a lot. Has some atmosphere, I guess. There is no help, there's no E3D. It's full on immersion, at least. The sound effects are there, like, of course, I've been fooled by just leaves, and it's there still some in the background. Moving. Even though the controls are clunky, it's like playable, but I don't know if that's gonna be an issue if we'll be escaping from something or in like an action scenario, because this movement is not suitable for running or or anything of the sort. It's just to walk slowly, discover, be jump skirt and that's it. I don't know, maybe the control scheme is literally how when the things pick up in this mansion, but definitely feels old school. Something that should release on Quest 1 for sure. I don't know, don't listen to me, like, Kaori is not my runner, so I'm just out of here. <laughs>